Sorry. There we go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today on our movement and medicine practice, we have a calming, balancing sequence for you. So this is something you can repeat over and over again when you know you need to kind of tend to the energetic body. This will in turn give you the energy that you need to be active and fulfill your life's destiny. But today we're taking a calm, stretchy, soothing, pranayamic approach. So hop into something extra comfy and let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, let's begin on the ground, seated, nice and low. And we're gonna bring our hands behind us when we get there, and the feet out in front. And if you're on yoga mat today, bring your feet as wide as your yoga mat. And then turn your fingertips in towards your body. And then inhale, lift your chest, and start to feel a stretch through the front of the shoulder, the armpit chest. And if this is too much, you can turn the palms out the other way so you can turn your fingertips back like this. Otherwise, we're turning them in for the body. Inhale in, lift your chin, lift your chest, and then exhale out. Claw into the fingertips and see if you can lift your chest a little bit more. So dive right into that. Inhale and exhale to release. To release, we'll bring the fingertips now to the center. Feet free on the ground, knees. Upward sky, reach the fingertips forward. Inhale in now, stretch in the back body. And exhale, maybe chin to chest. Get some energy moving up and down the spine by deepening the breath. Today's practice is going to calm or quell any anxiety. Just chill it out a bit. I know we need that sometimes when we have to actively turn off all the busy bustling energy. A little few lucky stuff. So the deep breath in. Exhale, slide the fingertips to the tops of the feet. Catch your ankles. A little core activation. Lift the feet up. Bring the arches together. Lift the chest, lift the chin. So we're back to where we just started lifting the fronts of the shoulders <laughs> up towards the sky, lifting the heart. Inhale in if you want to do something crazy and stretch your legs. And exhale, you can. Great, take one more breath, inhale. Just activating this line that runs up and down the spine here. Beautiful, and then with control, slowly bring the feet to the ground. Sup, uh, not sup, but Parakanasana. <laughs> straight up Parakanasana. Hold on to the ankles or interlace the fingertips around your toes. And sit up nice and tall. Take a big sweeping inhale and imagine the breath traveling down to your belly as you fill up with air. And then exhale, tops of the thighs, ground down. Beautiful. Inhale and again, lift your chest. Find expansion and then exhale, we contract. Take the thumbs to the arches of the feet. Start to open the feet like a book and, and just make, make this, you know, little practice about self-inquiry. We, you know, we don't need to boost the biceps or the booty here. We're working on balancing it out so we can have energy to do all the other stuff. So balance it out today. We just have a little massage on the arches of the feet. We are going to get some uh, good little opening in the hips, in the inner thighs, and again, stimulating in the soles of the feet to the crown of the head so that we can balance out the energy of the body and find our chill. All right, take one more inhale and exhale, one more cycle of breath here, wherever you are. 
And then slowly roll up. And you're just gonna take the right foot out and then actually hug the right heel in a little closer. So create an L shape and sit up nice and tall. And then take your right hand to the top of your left hip crease and just side body stretch with the left fingertips over towards the right. Inhale. Right. Exhale all the way back up. The switch. Dig the left heel into your yoga mat. Send it out long. Pike the right heel in. Left palm gently comes to the top of the right hip crease and side body stretches. You sweep the right fingertips up and overhead. Now breathe into the lower back. So great for the internal organs. And breathe deep as you bring nice conscious breath, replenishing the organ. Mm-hmm. All right, come back up. Breathe forward. Got a hair in the mouth. Send both legs out long. Inhale, and so you hook the thumbs, Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees generously. Big breath in. If you can bend the knees so much so that you can bring the hands to the ankles or the feet, great. If not, just allow the hands to rest by the way you have to Deep breath in. Lift the legs up, cross the ankles, come through to all fours. Cat cow. Right away. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Keep checking in. Again, this practice is about self inquiry, balancing out the energy of the body so you can feel good. Drop the belly, inhale, you gotta bring the breath. There's an artfulness to the way you breathe today, perhaps finding something new. Exhale as you lift up to the heart, navel to spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then drop the elbows where the hands are. Keep breathing, and then keep the hands firmly planted as you walk the knees back. And you're gonna bring the knees wide, wide as your yoga mat, and then you're gonna actually bring the elbows a little bit wider on today's variation. So, a little bit wide with the elbows, a little bit wide with the knees, and then here we go, inhale in, exhale, melt it all down. Chin comes to the yoga mat, gaze forward. Tailbone up first. Oh. <laughs> Breathe deep. You got this. Come to the fingertips. Breathe. Wonderful. Then activate through the tops of the feet. Carve a line with the nose. Come forward. Walk the elbows back underneath the shoulders. Hands come to alignment. And we'll curl the toes under. Walk the knees in. And here we come into a forearm plank. Breathe deep. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? Fire up through the belly. Big breath in, gaze straight down, big breath out. You got it, one more big breath in, feel that shake, that prana, that's what we want, stirring the pot. And then slowly lower the knees, bring them together, feet together. And we roll up to a nice seat. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Nice work. Feel the blood flow opposite direction, close your eyes, you can really feel the sensation going on. Excellent. Then come forward on the fingertips, flip the toes, sink the hips back on the heels. Flip the over for the feet. Try to press into your pinky toe. Lift up from the pelvic floor. Listen to the sound of your breath like waves of the ocean crashing. So inhale and exhale. Nice, full, deep breaths. Wonderful. Then walk the knees as wide as the hips here at the point. So just a little bit wide. And then lift your hips up. Come on to the tops of the feet. You feel really good now. Lengthen tailbone down. Inhale, lift your heart. Awesome. Eagle arms. Send your fingertips forward. Right arm underneath the left ear. Wrap around. Inhale, keep pressing firmly into the tops of the feet. Lengthening tailbone down. Creating spaciousness through all four sides of the torso. So really pay attention to this lift up through all four sides of the torso. And then from there, inhale, lift your elbows up a little higher. Exhale, navel to spine. 
Inhale to expand. Exhale, navel to spine. And one more time, inhaling. Exhale, navel to spine. Beautiful. Send the fingertips out in front, interlace, steeple grip. And we're just going to slowly lower back. Keep head, heart, and pelvis in the line here. Holding that pelvis, strengthening the quads, stretching through the fronts of the hips, front of the hips. And baby pulses, maybe here for five, four, three. You're doing great. Two, press from the tops of the feet to come up on the one. Beautiful. Release the arms this time. Left arm underneath the right. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, navel to spine. So find this play of expansion and contraction in the belly with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Navel draws in. Inhale. Find expansion. Press into your feet. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Unravel. Exhale. Release the fingertips. Interlace behind the tail. Knuckles draw down and away. Inhale, open the chest, open your heart, and then exhale, here we go, slowly drawing the nose towards the navel, head comes down towards the earth, crown mm. the head to a block or the earth. If we curl the toes under here, so it feels more stable, uh. <laughs> into the belly, knuckles reach towards the sky, we don't do Big breath in. Not putting a bunch of pressure on the neck here. Staying connected, lifting up through the shoulders. Lift the arms, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then reach the heels back, so the hips back, and tuck the chin to slowly roll it up. Back to the foot stretch, release the arms. Palms come to the tops of the thighs. Big breath in. Lion's breath, tongue out. This is your first lion's breath ever. Welcome to the club. Do another one. Inhale in. Lion's breath. Tongue out. Rock and roll. Okay, here we go. Coming forward onto all fours. We're going to come onto the tops of the feet here. Neutral spine. When you're ready, inhale. Send the right leg out long. And then exhale. Bring the right leg, right foot all the way up and in, and the fingertips are going to come together. So we're not quite going as wide as lizards, so go ahead and bring your right foot into the center line. Right hand comes in line with the right arch. If you want, you can use a block or a pillow or fold it up tall to bring the earth up to you here. And here we go, swing the left toes over towards the right foot and move the mat, and inhale as you're ready, open the left fingertips all the way up towards the sky. So the fingertips up high. If your left shoulder is really coming forward here, it's a good idea to find that lift here so you can get your left shoulder back. Feel that stretch in the left side body and the belly. Breathe into the lower back body. Love for the liver and the kidneys today. Inhale in. And you start to open up through the right inner thigh. Now, squeeze the right knee towards your right arm and press your right arm towards the left. Uh, sorry, towards your right knee. So again, <laughs> squeeze your right knee towards your right arm. Press your right arm towards your right knee. So a little bit of um, balancing of the opposing forces here. Just squeeze and lift. All right, inhale, exhale. Awesome work, amazing job. Come all the way back to frame your right foot. And pull the right hip crease back half stiff. Awesome work. Oh. Come forward, plant the palms. Back to tabletop position, neutral spine, check in. Fabulous, other side. Inhale, send the left leg out long. Exhale, step it all the way up. Left hand comes to join the right. So we're not going as wide as lizards, so keep that left foot in the center line. Plant the left palm next to the arch of the left foot. And as you're ready, nice and slow, so move from your center, stay connected to your core. Right toes towards the left side of the mat. Think gate pose, correct? And then find a little resistance here is what I was trying to say. So squeeze the left leg in towards your left arm and then press left arm into your left leg. You can inhale, reach your right fingertips up. And if you feel like your right shoulder's forward and can't quite get back, 
maybe come up onto the fingertips or come up onto a block here. And then the biggest, most beautiful act of love you can do for yourself here right now is not the pose, but the breath that embodies the pose. So breathe, send awareness to the lower back. Nourish your systems with this nice, full, conscious breath. And lean back into it. Squeeze the left knee towards the left arm. Press left arm towards the left knee. Feel that deep stretch in the left inner thigh. The groin, you got it. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale all the way back down. Bring the right foot back. Pull the left hip crease back. Gentle half splits here. Don't press, don't push. Nice and soft and easy. Yeah, baby. And then roll through. Plant the palms. Come back to tabletop position. Great work. Bump the hips to the left. Turn to look past your right shoulder. Beautiful. Come to center. Actively bump the hips to the right. Turn to look past your left shoulder. Great. Cross the ankle. Use your hands to guide your way all the way back through to a nice comfortable seat. In a meditation pose. This is where we end today. So get comfortable. Great. Left hand comes to the heart center. Excuse me. Right hand comes to the lower belly. Take a second to close your eyes. Get nice and calm. And just take a couple quiet moments more to yourself. Just steady your breath. And to just be present with what is, whatever's, whatever's, whatever's going on today. Just lean in. Tap into a little inner smile. And hopefully you can feel a little bit of warmth here. A little sensation from that practice, from our practice. Take whatever information you received from today's practice with you off the mat and into the rest of your day or your night. Move the boo. I hope you have great sleep tonight. Continue to stay connected to your song, your breath. Find what feels good. Listen. Try to move from a good place, an honest place. Draw the hands together in Anjali Mudra for a position at the heart. Inhale. And exhale, bow your brain down to your heart. It's called stretching your back of the neck. Listen to the sound of your breath as you breathe in. And out. The chill in me bows to the chill in you. Thanks, everyone. Namaste. Namaste. All right, so I did it, <laughs> and now I'm gonna write down my three um, gratitudes for the day and my intention, and then I'm gonna start getting ready for work. Hope everybody has a great day. Be sweet, baby.